Good morning and welcome to Splits Yoga today. Um, if you're new, welcome. And if this isn't new, welcome back. Grab your strap and we're going to be doing some of the shoulder circles. Hold your strap as loose as you need so that you do not need to bend your knees. Lift up on your toes, pull the strap under your heels then lift your toes and the balls of your feet off the ground and continue to pull the strap. As you warm up, continue to move your hands slightly closer together. Play in this dynamic stretch. See how much of an arch you can get in your back on one of the overhead passes. See how far you can touch your toes. Play and see how much you can warm up your body in this dynamic stretch. Make this last rotation backwards the last. Forward fold here and stay forward folded. Reverse so now you lift your toes up and then your heels. Move your shoulders so that the strap is overhead and bring it forward in front of you. Continue to do this now with the strap going down the front of your body and up the back of your body. Choose a leg and test that leg splits. I've chosen my left side. If it's your right, from this point on, just transfer whenever I say left to right. So in this test splits position, I'm pressing down slightly with my feet. That way, I'm not actually fully going into splits. I'm just testing to see where my body feels tight. My hips are squared, my feet are flexed, and I have a lot of my weight in my hands on the blocks to my sides. Whenever I feel ready to get out, I'm going to suck my belly button towards my spine and drag my front foot backwards. Again, I'm going to use this momentum or this pull that way. I'm not engaging my just stretched leg. In a standing position, bend your right leg slightly as you lift your left leg onto the back of a chair. You can also use your body weight and press your left foot firmly against a wall but I have found using a chair is much easier. Flex your foot and don't melt over your top left leg. Instead, reach your hands up to elongate your spine and then slowly hinge at the hips, maybe reaching towards the wall for a little bit of balance. And at any time that you desire, bend your back standing right leg. Bring your belly button into your core and pull your spine very straight and tight. Continue to stretch your front leg, flexing that foot and keeping your hips square. Place your hands on the underside of your leg and pull your leg off with your hands. Then shake it out. 
Place a stack of blocks on either side of your mat. You're going to be using this to put your body weight and for balance. Lunge with your hips squared to the front of the mat. Keep your knee in complete alignment with your hip, not allowing it to drop one side or the other. If you notice your thigh pressing up against your hip bone, you're doing it correctly. Relax the front of your back right leg towards the ground. With every exhale, relax your legs further towards the ground and away from each other. Even if you don't physically see a difference in every breath, imagine your body doing it. Push with your left leg so you come out of the stretch just slightly. From this point, you're going to open your knee out away from your body just slightly. Keep the bottom of your foot firmly on the ground, not rolling to the side of your foot. Then you're going to come back into the stretch now that your knee has allowed your hip to come further down. Continue to have your hips parallel to the front of the mat and continue to sink your hips and the front of your back right leg closer to your mat. Breathe here, relaxing with every breath. Continue to maintain your balance using your front leg and the blocks. Press with your left leg so you come out of the stretch slightly. Bend your right knee so that you can hold onto your right foot with your right hand. Then sink back down into a lunge with your knee slightly off to the left side. Try to keep your hips square to the front of the mat even though your right arm is now pulling your chest slightly to open on the right. Release your right foot and slowly place it on the ground. Straighten your front left leg and flex the foot. Elongate your spine and continue to have your hips square to the front of the mat. Slowly, with a straight spine, lean your belly button towards your toes. Place your hands on either side of your foot using blocks or on the ground. With every inhale, elongate your spine. Keep your eyes focused to a single position far out in front of you to maintain your balance. With every exhale, Fold a little bit further at the hips, flexing your foot continuously, somehow remembering to still stay relaxed, completely relaxed. Pick up your ankle and adjust so your heel, your front heel is on the carpet. Slide into splits. Adjust your body weight back and forth to find any little hiccups that you feel in your legs. Press down firmly with your heel and the top of your foot so that you can warm up those spots and then relax into the splits even further. Breathe here for a little bit.
lean off to your left side and then scissor your feet together onto your right side so you're more in a staff forward fold pose position your blocks so you have some blocks on either side of you and one block in front of you for the heel of your left foot place your heel on it firmly but in the back slightly that way if you pull it it won't roll sink down into your hips exactly like how you did in lunge and splits without a front block keep your hips square to the front and your shoulders away from your ears whenever you need straighten or bend your elbows to release some or hold some of the weight off of your stretch keep both of your feet flexed when you are ready pull your hips back bringing your belly button towards your spine and possibly dragging the block that way you definitely notice that you hold rather than stepped out now it is time to test your right side splits your left leg should be in back and your right leg should be in forward but if you have already done your right side splits then from this point forward whenever i say right leg please switch it to left leg feel where you're sticky in this stretch Move around and notice every single hiccup in your right side splits. Pull yourself out of this position exactly like how you did on your other side. Then make your way to a standing position. Lift your right leg off the ground. You can bend your left leg if you need to to do so. Place your foot on the wall and or on the back of a seat. Lift your hands up into the air and make sure to keep your spine very straight and your hips facing the chair that your foot is on hinge at your hips and reach towards the wall to make sure that you hinge forward with a straight spine and you don't melt over your front foot Place your hands on the underside of your right leg. Allow your hands to help remove your leg from the wall. Shake it out and then lunge position. Right foot forward, left leg back. Press into your right leg, sinking your hips further and further down, continuing to have your spine straight. Use blocks or your knee or maybe the ground to keep your balance make sure that your hip is in line with your knee if you feel your thigh pushing against your hip bone you're doing it correctly Come out of the stretch slightly. Open your knee just a little bit towards the side so that your right knee is opening towards the right side. Continue to press your right foot squarely on your mat. Sink deeper, even deeper than before, down towards your mat, allowing the front of your left leg to sink 
closer to the mat. Come out of the stretch just slightly, then rise your left foot up in the air so that you can reach it with your left hand. At this point, do what you feel best. Either press your foot closer towards your body or maybe sink deeper. Whatever you think would help benefit your splits. Release your left back foot down to the ground slowly. Straighten your front right leg and flex your right foot. Make sure that your hips are perfectly squared to the front of your mat. Use blocks or the floor to maintain your balance as you slowly hinge at the hips, bringing your belly button towards your knee, not melting and making a U-shape with your spine. With every inhale, elongate your spine even straighter. With every exhale, see if you can hinge a little deeper. See if you can flex your foot a little more. Move your right foot to the carpet so you can slide easily into splits. Fully embrace the splits, sliding as far as you can. When you get to a sticky place, rotate your hips through or press your heel and the top of your back foot to warm your hips up. Relax and see if you can sink down further. your core and your arms to pull yourself out of this splits position then set up for over splits one block in front and a few blocks on either side to support you place your right foot in the middle of the block slowly work your hips down as slow as you need by pushing your back foot backwards so that you don't roll your front block that your foot is on. Relax your hips, but keep them square the entire time. Place as much weight as you need inside the blocks. Keep your feet flexed to relieve any pressure that you feel on either knee. Breathe here. Pull yourself out of this stretch and then give yourself an applause. Thank you so much for watching. I had such a wonderful time teaching you splits. I will see you again soon. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe because that would mean the world. Thank you. Bye.